a Reddit user US slash NeuroCaptain posted a video showcasing a Cybertruck release prototype with Texas manufacturer plates in a Sausalito, California parking area. The video provides close-up shots of the Cybertruck's exterior, including its stainless steel panels, rear bumper, and tires. The camera person walks around the vehicle, offering various perspectives. In addition to exterior shots, the video zooms in on the windows, revealing glimpses of the interior. Similar to other videos and photos featuring release candidate Cybertruck prototypes, this footage displays some wire harnesses for testing, visible as they are routed to the interior of the car on the front passenger seat. Observations in the video include panel gaps on the Cybertruck prototype's exterior and minor damage to the plastic on the rear passenger side. Notable details include a small green LED on the side of the rearview mirror, a pillar camera, and more. This development occurs as many eagerly anticipate official specifications for the production models of the Cybertruck. There is also hope for updates from Tesla regarding the release date for this innovative electric truck. Because the actual car size has not yet been announced and is very curious, there is a trend that is very popular in the Tesla lover community and it is quite weird. This trend was so notable that it soon became a running joke of sorts among Tesla enthusiasts that someone should just take a measuring tape to a Cybertruck release candidate when they spot one. This is easier said than done, of course, but as per a recent post on the Cybertruck Owners Club, a Cybertruck reservation holder actually did it. The reservation holder was only able to measure the width of the Cybertruck's bed in the rear bumper, and the findings are quite interesting nonetheless. For one, the width of the rear bumper was 72 inches. The width of the actual vehicle from the rear also appeared to be 78 inches, which is quite close to the Model S and Model X. And Model X are listed with a width of 78.2 inches and 78.7 inches, respectively. The Cybertruck's original prototype from 2019 was also roughly measured at 79.8 inches wide, as per a Cars.com report. It should be noted, however, that the Cybertruck is not necessarily flat on the sides. As noted by longtime Tesla investor Matthew Donegan Ryan, who estimated a full width of 84 inches for the Cybertruck, the fender flares of the all-electric pickup truck are notably thick and wide. Since the fender flares reportedly stick out about three inches, the Cybertruck's main body could indeed be just about 78 inches wide. A width of 78 inches without its fender flares would make the Cybertruck a bit narrower than other pickup trucks. The Rivian R1T, for example, is 81.8 inches wide with its mirrors folded, and the Ford F-150 Lightning is 80 inches without its side mirrors. Neither the R1T nor the Lightning have fender flares like the Cybertruck. Back to the production part of this masterpiece, so how is it going? Tesla is reportedly tapping Finnish stainless steel provider Autokumpu Oiji to supply some of the panels of the Cybertruck. Autokumpu Oiji is a key producer of stainless steel in Europe, and it is known for producing steel products for a variety of sectors, including the automotive industry. The Cybertruck, which is expected to go into full production later this year, has drawn attention for its unconventional design and flat stainless steel panels. The material is more expensive than regular steel, but it is also stronger and more corrosion resistant. Citing people reportedly familiar with the matter who opted to remain anonymous because the contract is reportedly private Bloomberg News noted that Tesla may source the Cybertruck steel from Autokumpu's Calvert, Alabama plant, which is about 650 miles away from Gigafactory, Texas. The publication's sources also stated that Autokumpu may not be the only supplier being tapped for the Cybertruck steel. Tesla CEO Elon Musk has stated that the Cybertruck's stainless steel exterior will provide the vehicle with a lot of durability. But while steel is strong, it is also difficult to work with. Thus, Tesla's decision to use steel for the Cybertruck is widely believed to be one of the reasons behind the all-electric pickup truck's delays. Elon Musk said as much, noting that the Cybertruck was a tough product to design and even tougher to build, 
and that the all-electric pickup truck has brought the company to uncharted territory, because it is not like anything else. The forecast, shared by TF International Securities analyst Ming-Chi Ku via Medium, puts shipment figures between 100-200 units by the end of 2023, 100,000-120,000 units in 2024, and 240,000, 260,000 units by 2025. Several publications consider Ku to be a reliable forecaster of Apple's plans, but we'll have to wait for a few months before we can take his Tesla predictions seriously. It's unclear what metrics he used or which industry sources he relied on to come up with these figures, which slot into the lower end of Tesla's own forecast. At an annual shareholder meeting early this year, CEO Elon Musk said the brand could produce anywhere between 250,000 to 500,000 Cybertrucks annually. However, in its communications to its suppliers, Tesla revealed a goal of 375,000 annual units. Kuo also stated that the Cybertruck could maintain a competitive advantage till the end of the decade, and then a successor, Cybertruck 2, might follow. Over the course of this timeline, the truck would receive multiple upgrades, but it would remain fundamentally unchanged, according to the analyst. The Austin headquartered brand has missed several Cybertruck production timelines over the past few years, including the initial release date of late 2021. The most recent revised timeline is the end of 2023 for the beginning of low volume production, followed by mass production by early 2024. The delay can partly be attributed to the truck's unconventional exterior. A Wired report from early this year stated that the Cybertruck's unique design, which includes an impenetrable stainless steel exoskeleton, presented several engineering challenges. Even the release candidates appeared to have fit and finish issues. Due to the nature of the Cybertruck, made of bright metal with mostly straight edges, any dimensional variation shows up like a sore thumb, Musk said to his engineers as per a leaked email from August 2023. He insisted his engineers achieve single digital micron accuracy. A micron is a millionth of a meter, and an average human hair's width is 70 microns. One can imagine the pressure Musk put on his engineers. Either way, with 2 million reservations for the electric truck and an estimated five-year waiting period for new orders, Tesla will have to roll up its sleeves and deliver on its promises in the coming months and years. Without that, the hype train is unlikely to settle down. What are your thoughts on the enhancements made to the Cybertruck? Do you believe it will deliver an exceptional driving experience across various vehicle categories? Share your views with us in the comment section below. What modifications are present in the performance version of the new Cybertruck? The latest iteration of the Tesla Cybertruck has been the subject of significant attention and speculation, with several key modifications and features that set it apart from its earlier versions. While the fundamental design of the Cybertruck remains largely unchanged, several notable updates have been introduced to enhance its performance, practicality, and convenience. One of the most discussed changes in the new Cybertruck is the glass. The initial presentation featured what was purported to be bulletproof glass, but it famously cracked during a public test with Franz and Elon Musk. In the performance version, Tesla has opted for double-layer soundproof glass to reduce cabin noise. This decision not only addresses the issue of noise but also helps keep the vehicle's cost in check. Parking in confined spaces has been made more manageable with the implementation of a front bumper camera system. This system optimizes the display screen to provide better visuals during off-road maneuvers and tight parking situations. It effectively minimizes the risk of blind spot collisions and obstructions during parking. However, it's worth noting that the performance model of the Cybertruck does not include an integrated rear door ramp, a feature that was initially anticipated. The rationale behind this omission is the substantial increase in weight that a tailgate ramp would introduce estimated at around 300 pounds, which could negatively impact the vehicle's overall performance. Customers can still request the installation of this feature but at an additional cost. On a more positive note, the new Cybertruck iteration incorporates a standard spare wheel beneath the bed, following the design approach of the Rivian R1T. This not only adds to the vehicle's visual appeal but also ensures practicality in case of a flat tire. 
One of the standout features is the Cybertruck's reportedly incredibly short turning radius. This characteristic could be a game changer, especially when navigating tight spaces or tackling challenging off road terrain. The performance model offers multiple traction modes tailored to various scenarios, providing drivers with flexibility in choosing the most suitable mode for their needs. An unprecedented feature, as disclosed by the renowned source Matthew Donegan Ryan, is the potential introduction of two way charging functionality in the forthcoming Cybertruck. Furthermore, the truck bed will feature three power outlets providing both 240 and 120 volts of electrical power, which could be a game changer for outdoor and off grid enthusiasts. In a departure from convention, the new Cybertruck lacks air ducts for the HVAC port system in the bed. However, the rear glass in the center gate can be opened, allowing for the possibility of camping in an air-conditioned environment within the truck bed. Tesla has added a range of convenience-enhancing features to the latest Cybertruck. Notably, the tonneau cover can be operated through the Tesla app or the main control unit, enhancing cargo carrying capacity. It's essential to note that while the rear door has an automatic opening mechanism, it does not feature automatic closing for safety reasons. The interior of the performance model offers enhanced seating comfort and floor mats similar to those in other Tesla models, departing from the rubber mats commonly found in other off-road vehicles. Despite these subtle refinements, the Cybertruck retains traditional design elements of a modern pickup truck. These modifications and features aim to meet the demanding requirements of high performance while providing practical and functional updates for future owners. In what ways will the performance of the Cybertruck differ from that of the dual-motor version? Tesla seems to be adopting a cautious approach, likely in anticipation of the final steps in the EPA certification process. As a result, the company has refrained from hastily revealing detailed delivery plans, even though the Cybertruck delivery event is scheduled for late October. In the initial wave of deliveries, Tesla intends to introduce two official versions. The dual-motor variant will be the high-volume edition, while the high-performance version, which is currently under discussion, may be available in limited quantities. The pricing of these upcoming versions remains a significant concern. On the launch day in 2019, Elon Musk disclosed the expected prices for various motor variants. However, since then, there has been a wealth of information indicating potential price fluctuations. In reality, the cost of this new performance version is expected to exceed that of the dual motor variant. It is projected to be priced at around $79,000, in contrast to the dual motor version's price point of approximately $69,000. The pricing difference can be attributed to the incorporation of a new and advanced motor, deviating from the initial launch specifications. As revealed, the upcoming Cybertruck version will integrate the Model X Plaid motor, promising a significant performance boost compared to the dual motor variant. This enhancement results in an extended driving range of up to 500 miles, compared to the standard dual motor model's 300-mile range. Achieving this increased range also depends, to some extent, on the battery pack size. While the dual motor version utilizes the 4680 type battery pack with a capacity of 127 kilowatts, the Plaid motor equipped Cybertruck could potentially employ one with a capacity of 232 kilowatts. In line with the prevailing trend in electric vehicle design, which favors minimalistic aesthetics and reduced bulk, the new Cybertruck will feature fewer accessories compared to the dual motor version. This strategic simplification not only contributes to a lighter vehicle weight but is especially significant for a performance-oriented model. Although the impact may not be dramatic, the reduction in components enhances the towing capability of the new Cybertruck, surpassing that of its dual motor counterparts. It is expected that the Cybertruck equipped with the Plaid motor will boast a towing capacity of 15,000 pounds, exceeding the anticipated 10,000 pound capacity of the dual motor variant. However, the production of the new version presents certain challenges due to its reliance on an 800 volt system. This requires compatible accessories and charging ports operating at the same power level, a capability that Tesla currently lacks. As a result, the production of the new version is expected to be more intricate and limited in scale compared to the dual motor variant. What are your thoughts on the enhancements made to the Cybertruck? Do you believe these changes will offer an exceptional driving experience across various vehicle categories? Feel free to share your viewpoints in the comments section below. 
The Cybertruck's frunk has been discussed a lot lately, with multiple sightings of the electric pickup seeming to show how large the storage area is. Some have reported from photographs and videos that the vehicle's front trunk appears small, while other angles have seemed to make the space look larger. In a new Cybertruck sighting from this week, courtesy of the Autopian, the vehicle's frunk is seen with a person sitting in it, seemingly emphasizing its width and overall size. The person can be seen sitting in the frunk with a beverage in their hand, while several of the photographs also show a number of angles from the truck's rear. It's not entirely clear from the angle how deep the Cybertruck frunk is, though the recent sighting appears to include the same wrapped units spotted in recent testing in the northwestern Mexican state of Baja California. Additionally, one of the Cybertrucks appeared to include a mini Starlink dish. You can also see the backside of a Cybertruck wheel cover in the photos, among a number of other interesting details. The frunk is so spacious that a person who is 5'7 can lay flat in it. This level of space is almost unheard of and opens up a plethora of practical uses. Whether you're storing camping gear, groceries, or even using it as an additional sleeping space during outdoor adventures, the frunk offers a level of versatility that is sure to be a game-changer. Moreover, the frunk comes with a power open slash close feature, making it incredibly user-friendly. This means you're more likely to use the frunk regularly, as opposed to it being an afterthought like in many other vehicles. What's innovative about Cybertruck's motor? When it comes to performance, the Tesla Cybertruck is not holding back. One of the most exciting revelations from the recent leaks is that the performance version of the Cybertruck will feature the same Plaid trimotor powertrain found in the Plaid Model X. This is a significant development that places the Cybertruck in a league of its own. The Plaid trimotor powertrain is Tesla's most powerful setup to date, designed to deliver unparalleled speed, torque, and overall performance. This powertrain allows for rapid acceleration, high top speeds, and impressive towing capabilities. The inclusion of this setup in the Cybertruck means that this electric truck is not just about utility and sustainability, it's also about exhilarating performance. The Plaid Model X is already a marvel of engineering, boasting incredible acceleration and top speeds. The fact that the Tesla Cybertruck's performance version will rival the Plaid Model X is a testament to Tesla's ambition to redefine what a truck can do. While trucks are generally associated with power and utility rather than speed and agility, the Cybertruck aims to excel in all these areas. It's worth noting that the Cybertruck's unique design and likely heaviest build could affect some performance metrics when compared to the Plaid Model X. However, powerful, the use of the same trimotor setup ensures that the Cybertruck will be one of the most trucks on the market, electric or otherwise. The Tesla Cybertruck is not just about raw power and innovative features, it's also designed to offer a superior driving experience. Recent leaks have provided insights into the vehicle's suspension and handling, and the news is promising. From a comfortable suspension system to an impressive turning radius, the Cybertruck is setting new standards for what a truck should feel like on the road. Trucks are not generally known for their agility, especially when it comes to turning radius. However, the Cybertruck aims to break this stereotype. The leaks suggest that the vehicle has an amazing turning radius, which could be a game-changer for maneuvering in tight spaces or navigating tricky off-road terrains. This feature could make the Cybertruck more versatile and easier to handle, whether you're in a cramped city environment or exploring the great outdoors. Next, how is production going? Tesla is stacking a massive supply of Cybertruck castings at Gigafactory Texas, hinting the production is near, which means deliveries aren't far behind either. Production is obviously getting close, especially when we base this thought on the fact that public road testing of RC-labeled, or release candidate, Cybertrucks have been spotted throughout the country over the past month and a half. Another thing it is doing is stacking up a massive supply of both front and rear castings for the Cybertruck, meaning it is already in the process of building portions of the vehicle. Recent images taken by Giga Texas drone operator Joe Tetmeyer seem to indicate that production is basically underway, especially if you consider these castings to be part of the initial manufacturing of the Cybertruck. If this is any indication of how close Tesla is to producing the Cybertruck, it seems approval for deliveries from the EPA could come within the coming weeks. What's even more interesting is the fact that there are a vast number of castings here, so Tesla should be able to ramp up the Cybertruck program somewhat rapidly. 
Tesla will be making an attempt to wrap up Cybertruck production as soon as possible to make a dent in the 2 million reservations it has for the pickup, according to the latest numbers from the order tracker. Additionally, Cybertruck deliveries will help the automaker attain its 1.8 million unit delivery goal for 2023, especially after a Q3 miss. What do you think about Cybertruck's improvements? Will it bring you a great driving experience that can be felt in all vehicle segments? Let us know your opinion below in the comments section. Elon Musk has unveiled that Tesla is actively developing a performance Cybertruck, potentially signaling its arrival as one of the initial variants of the electric pickup truck. Recent sightings of Tesla's Cybertruck release candidates have indicated the presence of dual motor powertrain configurations. Musk has now provided additional details by sharing on X that he had the opportunity to drive a performance Cybertruck and was highly impressed, stating, I just drove the performance Cybertruck today and it kicks ass next level. This revelation implies that Tesla is actively working on a performance version of the Cybertruck, suggesting that it might be one of the early iterations to hit the market. Tesla had previously announced a tri-motor version of the Cybertruck boasting impressive specifications, including over 500 miles of range, 060 MPa acceleration in 2.9 seconds, a top speed of 130 meth, and a starting price of $69,900. While these specs undoubtedly classify it as a performance version, there have been rumors circulating about Tesla potentially offering a quad-motor variant of the Cybertruck, which could deliver even higher levels of performance. Tesla continues to tease us with additional Cybertruck test track footage at the Fremont factory. Those with even a passing interest in this pickup are eagerly awaiting the commencement of deliveries. While this isn't the first time we've seen the Cybertruck on the Fremont test track, the automaker's prolonged teasing is making us increasingly impatient for deliveries to start. Recently, the Cybertruck was spotted once again on Fremont's test track, maneuvering around bends and accelerating down straightaways, most likely for ongoing testing as it prepares to hit the streets. However, we are still awaiting confirmation that the EPA has initiated assessments for the Cybertruck Certificate of Conformity, a prerequisite for official deliveries. While there have been various rumors regarding Cybertruck deliveries, the public release cannot occur without this certification and crash test assessments from the NHTSA. Until then, Tesla will continue its testing regime, likely the reason behind the many sightings of the Cybertruck over the past six months. In recent weeks, there has been a noticeable increase in the seriousness of these tests, with sightings of crash-tested Cybertrucks, including one that rolled over yet maintained an intact cabin. Despite the Cybertruck's reputation for its ruggedness, distinctive design, and utility, it remains a Tesla electric vehicle, promising high-speed performance and acceleration. It's a far cry from your conventional pickup truck, while Tesla continues to tantalize us, the wait may soon be over, hopefully. Tesla still plans to commence deliveries before the year's end. What a fitting celebration it would be if the first deliveries coincide with the four-year anniversary of the Cybertruck's initial unveiling event. Share your thoughts in the comments section below. In a recent revelation, Elon Musk suggested that the Tesla Cybertruck may offer a diamond-like coating as an option. Musk took to his preferred social media platform, XE, to respond to inquiries from his followers. One intriguing tidbit from his response relates to the highly anticipated Tesla Cybertruck. In an X post, he hinted at the possibility of offering an optional scratch-proof coating for the Cybertruck, akin to the hardness of diamonds, to prevent key scratches and more. Musk responded to a fan's comment that people attempting to scratch a Cybertruck would be damaging their keys, saying, We might be able to offer an optional tungsten carbide coating, which is basically scratch-proof to everything below diamond hardness. Currently, Tesla's website describes the Cybertruck's exterior as built for ultimate durability and passenger protection, featuring an almost impenetrable exoskeleton and ultra-hard 30x cold-rolled stainless steel structural skin. However, it seems Musk 
is planning to take it up a notch with this new offering. In other news, let's explore why the Cybertruck now boasts off-road capabilities comparable to Range Rover or Ford pickups. To make a mark in North America's fiercely competitive pickup truck segment, the Cybertruck must be an exceptionally versatile product capable of excelling in various roles. Besides its load carrying and towing capacities, the Cybertruck must demonstrate its practicality, efficiency, and performance, both on and off the beaten path. Tesla is well aware of this, subjecting the Cybertruck to a battery of tests in diverse environments and conditions. These tests have included cold and hot weather trials, urban and highway driving assessments, and notably, off-road evaluations. Regarding off-road capabilities, two Cybertruck release candidate RC vehicles were recently spotted in Northern California at the Hollister Hills State Vehicular Recreation Area, just an hour's drive south of San Jose. Despite describing himself as a Jeep guy and diesel guy, an off-road enthusiast who goes by the name Muddy Ruts on YouTube was genuinely impressed by the Tesla Cybertruck's presence at the site. The video he filmed showcases both Cybertrucks with air suspension apparently set to its highest position, providing ample ground clearance and favorable approach and departure angles for a truck of this size. According to the uploader, Tesla engineers demonstrated the Cybertruck's air suspension, revealing a significant difference between its lowest and highest settings. The vehicles featured 20-inch wheels and all-terrain tires. The video also captures one of the electric trucks climbing a hill and navigating a road, offering a glimpse of the rear-wheel steering system in action. According to the uploader, the Tesla engineers at the site were friendly and forthcoming with information. He learned that the Cybertruck RC trucks had traveled all the way from Texas to Hollister Hills for off-road testing. Importantly, they also informed him that Cybertruck deliveries are expected to commence in October. If this information holds true, it means the initial deliveries will be delayed by a few weeks from the previously anticipated late September timeline, as mentioned by Elon Musk. Nonetheless, this slight delay pales in comparison to the four-year wait since the Cybertruck's initial unveiling in November 2019. Elon Musk has unveiled the existence of a performance Cybertruck within Tesla's lineup, hinting that it might be one of the initial versions of the electric pickup truck. Recent evidence has pointed to some of Tesla's Cybertruck release candidates being equipped with dual-motor powertrains. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, has now provided additional information on X, stating that he personally test drove a performance Cybertruck and described it as follows, I just drove the performance Cybertruck today and it kicks ass next level. This revelation suggests that Tesla currently has a variant of the Cybertruck designed for high-performance capabilities, and it might potentially be one of the first versions to hit the market. Tesla had previously announced a trimotor version of the Cybertruck with impressive specifications, including trimotor AWD, offering over 500 miles of range, a rapid 0 to 60 miles per hour acceleration in just 2.9 seconds, a top speed of 130 miles per hour, and a starting price of $69,900. While these specs could categorize it as a performance version, there have also been rumors circulating about Tesla considering a quad-motor version of the Cybertruck, which could deliver even greater levels of performance. Now, let's take a look at the progress of Cybertruck manufacturing at the Giga Texas plant. The production status of the Cybertruck at the Giga Texas facility is currently progressing well. Tesla has initiated the manufacturing of what they refer to as Manufacturing Confirmation Cybertruck Units at the Giga Texas property. This development comes as Tesla is reconfiguring the factory for full-scale production following a temporary shutdown for production line upgrades. These Manufacturing Confirmation Cybertrucks exhibit exceptional build quality and are considered the best Cybertruck builds seen thus far. As Tesla moves closer to the initial deliveries of the Cybertruck, which are still planned to commence before the end of this year, significant developments are taking place at the Giga Texas facility. On September 25, Joe Tetmeyer, an observer and drone operator at Giga Texas, captured images of two of these manufacturing confirmation Cybertrucks. Tetmeyer referred to them as master candidates. These manufacturing confirmation units represent the first few Cybertrucks produced on the newly improved production lines at the Texas factory. 
these production lines underwent temporary shutdowns for several weeks to accommodate necessary upgrades. During the Q2 earnings call, Tesla had mentioned the need to temporarily close its factories for production line improvements during Q3, which might have a slight impact on quarterly performance. It's important to note that these manufacturing confirmation Cybertruck units are not intended for delivery to customers. Instead, they serve as validation units for the new production lines. The next phase will involve the production of Series 9 Cybertrucks, which could potentially be the first units handed over to customers. Insiders within the Cybertruck program have suggested that the Series 8 Cybertruck units might find their way into showrooms across the United States in the near future. Regarding Giga Texas, production is expected to return to normal rates by the upcoming week, as the temporary stoppage for upgrades requires a few days for recovery. In addition to Cybertruck production, Tesla is also manufacturing Model Y units at this factory. Elon Musk recently disclosed that Tesla is introducing a performance trim for the Cybertruck, providing a hint at the potential configurations available for the all-electric pickup truck during its initial deliveries. Apart from increasing production, what modifications have been made to the Cybertruck's design? In addition to ramping up production, the Tesla Cybertruck has also undergone some design changes. While there have been numerous leaked images and videos circulating on online forums and social media, detailed and close-up views of the truck's bed have been relatively scarce. However, a recent image posted on the social media platform X by user at Demazeniak has revealed some intriguing details about the Cybertruck's bed, raising questions about its size compared to Tesla's previous claims. When Tesla initially unveiled the Cybertruck, it showcased a design with featureless vertical walls surrounding the bed. However, the new image, likely depicting a release candidate test mule, reveals slanted walls within the bed. This design deviation logically arises from the need to accommodate wheel arches, which consume some internal space in the same manner as other pickup trucks on the market. What makes these slanted sides distinctive is that they appear to be a result of Tesla's choice to use stainless steel throughout the vehicle's body, including the bed, an area where aluminum or regular steel is typically preferred. The rigidity of stainless steel likely necessitates the use of flat panels to create the bed's walls and bottom, contributing to the observed design. While this design quirk may not be a significant issue, especially since many pickup truck owners use their vehicles for daily transportation rather than heavy-duty hauling, it does raise questions about the overall functionality of the Cybertruck's cargo bed. The precise width of the bed and how much space is consumed by the sloping sides remain unclear. Elon Musk, Tesla's CEO, previously stated that the Cybertruck would feature a six-foot bed, theoretically surpassing the utility of the Ford F-150 Lightning. However, the introduction of sloped walls raises some doubts about this advantage in terms of practicality. On a positive note, both sides of the Cybertruck's bed are equipped with an LED light strip, which could prove highly convenient for individuals loading or unloading cargo at night, offering hands-free illumination. In conclusion, these design adjustments in the Cybertruck are noteworthy, and they invite further exploration of the truck's functionality and utility. As developments continue, we appreciate your viewership and support for Tesla Car World. If you found this video informative, please like, share, subscribe to our channel, and activate the notification bell to stay updated on exciting developments in the electric vehicle industry. We look forward to connecting with you again in the future. Until then, take care and stay safe.